The Arkansas Legislative Joint Auditing Committee met today to discuss the audit that investigated the purchase of a $19,000 lectern by the governor's office. The report released yesterday outlined several areas in which the governor's office may have violated multiple Arkansas laws. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley is on your side tonight with the details of today's discussion. Andrew. For over three hours this afternoon, lawmakers scrutinized the audit's report and questioned the governor's office over its results. We all can agree that $19,000 was spent on an item and no one has really seen it. And I, I do know that the press has asked numerous times, when will this be used? When can we see it? When will it publicly be avail available to be used? Because otherwise, it was a complete waste of money because no one's using it. The report specified seven instances in which the governor's office may have violated state laws by altering public records and failing to comply with freedom of information requests concerning the controversial podium, among other potential infractions. For example, two versions of the same invoice for the podium were provided in response to a FOIA request, but one copy differed in that the words to be reimbursed had been written on it. Can you see an argument where writing to be reimbursed on the document would somehow impair the truthfulness of the document? I can't because that document and that note was submitted at the exact same time of a check that was intended to reimburse this podium in case the reimbursement would not occur until that check cleared the bank. All of the documents in front of you are correct. Even the one that's an altered government document, is that correct? It is an altered government document, correct? It's a common government practice to write on receipts and invoices to document um, certain business procedures within the government. Oh, I think we can disagree. The report was sent by auditors to the 6th Judicial District prosecuting attorney as well as the Attorney General's office. No charges have yet been filed, but tampering with public records is a Class D felony offense. The governor's office had this to say about the audit. Ultimately, the audit wasted significant taxpayer resources just to come to the conclusion that no laws were broken and no fraud was committed. Even so, we are glad this report dispels all of the ridiculous Twitter conspiracy theories that had been generated online. It shows that the podium and travel case are real, that their cost was not unreasonable, that the podium was built to specific height requirements, that the purchase was not part of some, quote, payment scheme, or, quote, wire fraud. Lawmakers disagreed over the severity of potential violations listed in the audit's report, but more than a few legislators from the governor's own party were taking her office to task over it. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. All right, Andrew, thanks a lot. It's important to note that the audit's report disagrees with a recent opinion released by the Attorney General at the governor's request that asserts that certain state laws do not apply to the governor's office because it is not a state agency.